So in a previous video when we selected the boot disk, I mentioned that drives you can go ahead and create different you can go ahead and create different disks that can also be mounted. And when it comes to creating um so when you create new disks, you have the Google can manage of the content. And so Google, you can either decide, hey, Google, the moment you supply the keys um, and handle it, Google relinquishes all the power of encryption to you. That data is irrecoverable because, hey, guess what? Google, has, if you're going to up supply your own keys, make sure that you supply your own keys. Make sure that you have a lot of because the consequences is you losing everything. The other option is using a customer managed key. And here, and here you get the opportunity to create a key. On. So this is the best of both worlds that offers you a pretty decent comfort. I'll typically leave it as Google managed because uh, for this example, it's pretty easy. We'll kind of keep it at that. And we get to select the type of disk. So anywhere from your local SSDs are actually physically attached to your, if you just select an SSD or a standard persistent disk, these disk options may not be on the same server mount. A local SSD, you have to choose the interface type in order to optimize the usage of NVMe drives. Once again, the selection of the type, kind of disk you make so for instance, if it's just a persistent disk, you'd be paying about 20 bucks. That's 500 gigs. I think it's 375 max. You're paying a certain amount. And if it's a local, it's about the same amount, slightly more, I believe. And here you get to select the number you want. That price will obviously. And so let's actually just look. And here you have a little if throughput. If IO throughput is important to you, once again, you get to manage encryption over there. So we can create that. I'm actually going to change this. And they'll all be added over here.